Two new studies find that over the past 15 years, children in Africa overall are healthier and staying in school longer. But in some communities, they are not. How do we know? An innovative system of mapping the entire African continent in five by five square kilometers. We can look for areas that have been doing particularly well in relation to education and nutrition, or uh, areas that are falling behind. The studies, published in the journal Nature, reveal local hotspots where additional and intentional efforts are needed to increase years of education and improve children's nutrition, and to shine a spotlight on communities showing progress. Five by five kilometers is a sweet spot for us. It ends up pushing the boundaries of computational feasibility while providing precision tools for policymakers that have been unavailable to date. Those policymakers, as well as heads of state and health officials globally, now have a comprehensive picture of each African nation. We found persistent high levels of stunting, wasting, and underweight from Senegal in the west to Eritrea in the east. The implications are as powerful as they are dramatic, especially for those monitoring nations' progress toward meeting the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. While almost every country has certain regions that are improving, there isn't a single country on the entire continent that is on track to meet the 2030 goal of ending all malnutrition. The research, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, emphasizes the vital link of health and education. This is particularly important for women of reproductive age, where increased education can result in fewer child and maternal deaths and improved reproductive health. The studies conclude that education, like other social investments, is closely related to people's health and well-being. Those investments pay both short-term and long-term dividends for communities, for nations, for the world. Ultimately, we hope these maps will stop vulnerable communities from falling even further behind.